If you're looking for a quick and easy way to add some visual flair to your OBS scenes, then you probably want to check out the image and the image slideshow sources. And in this video today, I'm going to have all the information you need to get those set up and running properly. I'm also going to explain what it means by that little checkbox that talks about applying alpha in linear space. But before we get into this video today, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. It only takes a second. It's free and it helps me out a lot. If you have any questions as I'm going through the video, make sure you leave them in the comments below and make sure you hit the like button as well. Without further ado, let's get on with today's video. Okay, when we start with an image source, it's going to come up with a box, ask us to give it a name, click OK, and come up to the properties for the image. And we don't have a lot of options for the image other than to unload the image when it isn't showing and to apply the alpha in linear space. Now, you don't need to know too much about what that means other than the alpha affects transparency. But if you're like me and you do need to know what that means because you just need to wrap your head around it in order to progress, I get it. Here's a quick answer about what the alpha channel in linear space box means in relation to OBS. The alpha channel allows you to manipulate not the colors themselves, but the transparency or the opacity of the image, almost like it's phasing the image itself in and out of reality while the RGB channels affect how much color is allowed to go into the image. Now, linear space, when they're talking about that, that's going to refer to, um, again, how the computer is calculating the way that it interprets the colors. So if you load a transparent image and you find it doesn't look quite right, you can try checking the box to apply the alpha in linear space. All that's going to do is apply that alpha channel into either a linear or a gamma color space. So let's take a look at that just to see if we can see an example here. So if I load up this transparent GIF of a Twitter logo, we'll click OK. We'll bring that up, put it right big in the center of the screen, or I can Go control F to fit this, to fit it to the screen. Go back to properties and I'll move this out of the way just behind me, underneath me here, there. There we go. And if I go apply in linear space, I'm not sure how well this will show up on the YouTube video in the final product here, but as I click it on and off, you can kind of see the edges of the image are sort of highlighting a little bit. Why are you biting me? What did I do? <laughs> Did I wake you up? Is that the problem? Image slideshows are a little bit more interesting. Let's go and add one here. Image slideshow. We'll create new. You can give it a name, ISS, for example. And if we do that, uh, if you have several of them, then it helps you keep track of them a little bit more easily. Click OK. So we start off with, uh, you know what, actually, first thing let's do, let's go right down to the bottom. And we're going to take a look at the image files box. And that gives you a plus, a minus, a little settings wheel, and an up and a down. So let's first go and click plus, and we can add files or a whole directory. Let's add files, and we'll just shift click on all these files in here. And if we click on a file and we want to change that one specific file, we click the settings icon, it'll let us uh, choose a different one. Or if we want to just remove a file, we can just remove it like that. Okay. And if we go to the arrows down below, we can pick a file, move it up or down in the list. Now, let's go back up to the top of the list and look at the actual options here. So we can choose to always play, uh, we can choose our visibility behavior. It, by default, it's set to always play even when the slideshow is not visible on the screen, but we can set it to stop or pause. So if you stop it, it's going to start from the beginning. If you pause it, it's going to start where you leave off. The slide mode, automatic or manual, I'm going to turn it to manual right now. That way I can control when the slides change with, a, with, uh, with my mouse or if you have a touch portal or stream deck. If you set it to automatic, you're going to be able to set your time between the slides and the transition speeds right down here. And then you can set a transition type for, really? And then you can set a transition type for the slides themselves, just like you can do with scenes and sources. You can set it to cut, fade, swipe, or slide. Let's just, uh, let's go swipe for now, and it'll swipe the images on and off. You can loop the slideshow. You can hide the slideshow when it's done. 
and you can randomize the order in which the images are played back. The bounding size or aspect ratio, so let's take a look at that here. Right now it's set on automatic. So if I shrink this down so that it fits into the whole window here. There we go. And right now we have that set on automatic. So let's just click cancel and let's just go and click through all of the different pictures. So you can see that the, like the cat pictures are bounding into the full frame of the box here, which is fine. And I go through and now you can see that the box has dragged itself out a little wider. And the cat pictures are gonna have the black bars around the edges because they are four by three pictures. So you'll wanna look at that box and consider how it's going to affect the layout that you're using it in. You might not care if it's going to adjust automatically for each picture, or you might want it to set specifically so that no matter what, each picture will sit within a frame. That way you can have a background behind it or something if it's uh, not all the way out to the edge. But that's everything you're gonna to need to know about the image source and image slideshows. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you can catch me live on Twitch three nights a week over at twitch.tv slash thebeardostreams. If you found this video helpful, you can leave a comment down below and let me know what, uh, what piece of advice helped you the most or if there's something that you might need some clarification on. Again, I will do my best to answer any comments that you leave. Hit the subscribe button and click the little bell so you don't miss notifications for any of my upcoming videos. And check the description below for links to any of the software I've used today or to links to my other social media channels. As always, I'm Roman with the Bureau Computes. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Say goodbye, Lilypad. Goodbye, Lilypad.